Tell me your name. Hi, I'm David Webb. And you are the... Uh, uh, your Sustainability the East, mystery aren't you? man of the yeah. house of Sustainability so, East. I'm an exec director at Sustainability East. And can you explain how you became involved in the Cambridgeshire Renewable Infrastructure Framework? Yeah, so we were programme managing the Climate Change Skills Fund with which the CRIP was funded. So that was your immediate involvement? Yeah. Um, now, um, I'm here asking about the engagement package of work, essentially, and what happened there. Um, there was a sort of change of approach, essentially, at the beginning of the project. Can you explain the decision making at that point? Well, you know, Andrew, I'm not sure if it was a change of approach, but there was an opportunity within this piece of work to, um, to kind of drive this subject matter on. Now, how could we think about communicating that? This, you know, this portion of the, of the CRIF work was really, really important to us as programme managers of the Skills Fund, as I've just said. We know that these issues are huge. There's a big societal shift going to have to happen around climate change thinking and how things are interpreted, how infrastructure gets put on the ground, how people talk about it even. So to get this moving, we knew the CRIF was a great opportunity to, for, to, to really involve you know, a big audience and all the different stakeholders it's just in appreciating that they've got to get on with it. You know, whatever, whatever their opinions about climate change, they've got to get on with doing something. Um, so we had to get, you know, the archetypal local authority consultation thing way out of the way and get them really thinking about how they could have a discussion at the right level within the time strictures of the, of the CRIF work. And um, Public Eye, who, the company that I work for, became, became the, the, the company that was delivering the, the engagement work package. We started using digital means and we talked about opening the process up. Um, how, how, did you, how did that work for you? What was that experience like? Um, what you mean as, as you delivered it? Yeah, as we, as we delivered it. Well, you know, we, are, we were a public uh, sector organisation, but we're now an independent organisation. But I guess we've al always thought in kind of more independent ways than local authorities clearly have to think and behave. Um, so the way things are communicated, we've always been a little more determined with how we talk and kind of want to you know, make sure people kind of get on with the job in hand. That's difficult sometimes for local authorities. I have no you know, illusions about that because of the political content of what they're dealing with. Um, but we really wanted to thrust this on. We saw you as a great opportunity to do this within the CRIF, to be far more open, uh, to put the debate here um, you know about how Cambridgeshire can be ambitious and how Cambridgeshire can benefit long term by getting a good angle on this uh, not by merely having a consultation around climate change and what Cambridgeshire mm -hmm. should do about that it just wouldn't appeal so the techniques that you were going to bring to this were invaluable to us it's something that we continually think about anyway when you know when we're trying to contemplate how sustainable development is going to occur communication is right at the heart of that and it has to, you know, it's fundamental to this getting moving. You have to appeal to all sectors of society. And I think you encompass that really well. If a local authority had been left alone to do this, it may not carry the same weight, I would suggest. Yeah. And, and now looking back on, the, on, on that engagement process, how do you think it went? Um, you know, I saw most of the events. Um, I saw the way Public Eye hosted. I saw how kind of open uh, the language was. Um, and I saw kind of people relax, their shoulders dropped in these meetings, you know, people who wanted to kind of come and, you know, ask lots of questions and be a thorn in the side, their sting was drawn to a certain extent by this being nice and open. Um, and people who wanted to get involved were kind of liberated and, and felt as though they could because the language was at the kind of right level and it was very involving. So for me, it worked exceptionally well. It drove it on far quicker than an archetypal consultation approach from a local authority. That's the crucial thing, it's the speed that people can analyse these really difficult subject matters. Things are going to change quick and they've got to change quick and if Cambridgeshire for example wants to be ambitious with this, it's got to speed ahead. So have we got time to do long conversations, long drawn out opinionated uh, pieces of work? We have to get past that. Um, build a kind of bridge past that, give them a platform to speak, to, to have discussions on, to be involved, to feel involved. 
um, and to feel that their voice is being heard. I think we did that supremely well. And what happens to the CRIF now? What's the next? I mean, there is a, a CRIF, if you mm -hmm. like. There is the CRIF now. So, so what's, the CRIF. Yeah, what, what happens now? Well, we've got to make it a RIF. Now we've got to take Cambridgeshire out of the equation. Cambridgeshire, you know, have clearly been pioneering in this aspect. Uh, and they were, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, you know, they had the idea to get this in place. Uh, it's now clearly, um, you know, a, a recommended way uh, to develop planning policy around renewable infrastructure. So we have to now make sure that other counties in the east of England know about this for starters, uh, see how well prepared they are, take the learning from Cambridgeshire to them, certainly take the, uh, the emphasis on a very broad but intelligent conversation to them and how important that was to this process. Uh, and see if we can get them involved and get them moving. You know, a lot of um, economic benefits were highlighted um, uh, through the CRIF study. Uh, you know, if a local authority pressed ahead and, and got involved in this process. So we'll have that right at the fore. We'll have the communication right at the fore as well, but we'll go and tell others about it now, certainly in the East of England, and then broaden that as well, hopefully. So you think that could go beyond the East of England? I know it could because, uh, you know, we've been working with other partners who are at the moment producing national documents. Uh, in connection with the brand new uh, MPP, MPPF, the, the new planning framework that's coming out very soon. So we'll have national documents that will talk about what happened with the CRIF as well. So it will be recommended to others and certainly the communication aspect will be a key part of that.